Michelle May and welcome or welcome back to my channel Zesty Girl. Today I am continuing on with my reset and day number two is declutter and purge. So far I've done a couple of spaces that needed to be decluttered but I'm going to share with you the big declutter on my young boys bedrooms. They are all grown up and I need to get with the program. I don't know why I have kept their room. I think I've talked about this before when I did, was, did a major overhaul on their room. Um, I got all their clothes done last time, but I just didn't get the toys done. I just find it really hard as a mum to let go of that. But that's not fair for them, and I've got to face up to it today and get rid of all the little toys. And yeah, it's going to be a huge declutter. So what we've done today to make it easier from Target, I just bought some really big bins. Anything that they don't want is going to either a charity bag or it's going in the bins for me to think about later what I'm going to do with it. I just haven't got the headspace, but I want to get the gear out of their room that they don't want because we've got new beds and everything coming in in the next couple of weeks. So we're going to go for a great big makeover of their bedroom. And also my older son and my older daughter, they're getting new beds as well. And we're starting with the little boys. So I'm going to... Am I even making sense today? So anyway, part two of my life reset is declutter and purge. So if you want to see this, it'll be done on, most of it will be done on speed because there's a lot to do. I have literally no idea how this is going to turn out. So if you want to go through and do this with me, let's do this. The boys are already fighting. I can hear them. Anyway, let's go. Okay, so here we are. Let me just get the camera off so we can have a look. Okay, so Tom and Lucas have already tr started in here. They've made their beds, which is good. And, and they did their shelves the other day. So they've basically left on their shelves everything they want to keep. And it, everything they don't want to keep has gone down here. So this wouldn't normally be here. This is just everything off their shelves that they no longer want. So I'm now going to sort through this and make sure that they've made good choices. And then we're going to get on to the toys and things along here. And then we've even got, I can't even believe it, but we've even got, well, we've got Lego and all sorts of things here. Toys, toys. And we've got a suitcase here full of dress ups, which probably now is probably not necessary. We're going to start going through this lot here. Okay. So, okay. Dr. Seuss gone. Aww. Mom, you said Aww. you wouldn't do that. I know, but there's so much. Put Seuss. the cat in. Okay, so I'm going to pass it to you, Luke. Yes. Oh, I love these books. No. Should we read them? Yeah. No, I want Ken. I like that one. Oh, no, what's our favorite one? Green eggs and ham. The Lorax. I am the Lorax. I speak for the tree. Can I? This I guess is, this is, you need this book. It's got you in it, hasn't it? What? The Ninja Adventure. It's what? Who made this? Grandma had it made for you. Oh, let no, me read Tom's it. Tom's answered. No, let me see. I, I never read this. I love these books. Can't we just read them? One day, all of a sudden, everything became completely... This one, what's, what's happening with this? Is this part of the police station? Why would, would you not want that? Oh, no, it's because I... Thanks. Hmm? Is this broken? Yeah. Are you keeping that? Or is this like broken? gone? No, that's gone. Where's this broken? Because I don't think I can do anything. With what's it? this thing? Okay, so we have been, uh, so we didn't sort of share this because it was such a big job, but we'll, sh we'll show you what we've got too. So we went through all the boys' clothes that were in this drawer, and they have grown so much. We did this job not that long ago, but they have grown so much in the last six months. Like, Lucas is now almost six foot one, and he was only, oh, I don't know, he's growing crazy. He's 14, so he's just had a huge growth year and so is Tom. Tom's almost the same height as me so they've both grown and in six months there's so many clothes that don't fit. Anyway so Lucas has sort of gone into a medium men's for t-shirts and Tom's gone into size 14 to 16 boys um, even though he's just turned 12. So okay so down here is everything that doesn't fit anymore. Over here is a pile that we're just probably going to throw away here is just was Tom's just sorted through everything and wants to keep everything here some of its Lucas's that he's decided to move into 
and then we've got a whole lot of basketball clothes here that need to be sorted that was some of the books that we decluttered before um, and we've still got a lot more to do underneath here as well so we'll just keep going okay so come sit down here with me no I can go up here for you okay you tell me if it's home or if it's um oh yeah I'd like yeah okay first shirt home no. Hey, I thought I was the same. Wait, hey, that's home? So should we make a home pile? Yeah. Hey, so that's home? the way there. Yes. Wait, what's the SE? Wait a bit, not so fast. It's a phone. One bet's two, one bet's two. Yeah. Wow, well, this is from Grandma. I wrote an SE. <laughs> Tomorrow. <laughs> when do I start working? Okay, so these are the clothes folded. These are clothes that we will probably sell on eBay because they're all really, really good quality fun? clothes and I'll probably package them up into um, packages of 10 or 20 or whatever and just sell them. Um, then I've thrown out a whole bunch of clothes in the bag that just were like ruined or holes in them or anything like that. Mm -hmm. And then there's charity piles out there as well. Now what's happening with the children's books um, I've managed to let go of these ones and this was like last year we had another 40 that was the first cull and I got down to just these two lots but now I'm having to really face up to facts so there's some really lovely books here and some of them are really old um, like have come been handed down so like this this book here it's from grandma that's actually in the hospital at the moment that was given to Tom that's a really old book when was it published can't see is it these books here these we're going to keep this small pile here but I'll take them and put them into a box in my office or something these this is my book these are my favorite books from when I was a child um, so these are really old old old-fashioned books these are my favorite and then there's this one that 
I just love that was Sam and Jess's book when they were little. That's another one of mine. I always love a Christmas book. And these are the favorite books from when the children were growing up. Sam loved this book so much. They love this book as well. Um, Walter the Farting Dog, another favorite. Harry McCleary and The Gruffalo. So these, this is a pile of books that we will be keeping just because they've got really great memories. And of course, the cat in the hat so we're going to keep that pile there and i okay, oh, will just put it away in like a memory box and we might pull them out occasionally because these ones over here as well are going out and we just undecided about my favorite dr zeus book being brave and i'm going to keep going we're just about we're just looking at toys now so i might we might go through the process we've got the two dogs there they're going out what are we talking <laughs> after our lunch uh, what about the teddy? Okay, like Tom, we have to make some decisions. What about the teddy? What's happened to his yeah, nose? Oh, his fine. nose has come off. Oh, oh no, it's just okay. Scooby Doo. Yeah. Scooby Doo, we do. Where are you? Scooby's going. Scooby Doo. What do we think? Sorry. We're not sure about Scooby Doo. Okay, well, we'll if, if we're not decided. But what about the teddy bear? Yeah, and what about the two dogs are going right. No. So, oh, what well, you don't... Uh, One dog can go. <laughs> and then we've got minions. Yeah, we're we'll keeping that. Oh, we can't keep the minions. <laughs> oh okay, Tom, you need to make some decisions. What about pillow pets? Do we need these pillow pets? All four of the children had pillow pets and we used to use them when we used to travel in the car long distance and they used to take their pillow pets with them. But I don't think we need them anymore, do we? That's decisive. Okay, quickly, how are you going over there? So this one can go. We need to take a break. We need a food break. We're lunch and we've then we'll just back. been cleaning out over here and we've got found uh, that's artwork from Christmas last year that Tom did. We've managed to get the toys down to this. Those We're getting rid of those, all those toys so they can go um, to charity. So I'm, what I'm going to do is like, there's a bit of this rubbish here. We've found posters and Mac ear box that we don't need anymore and this is Lucas's paper mache mask that he made at school and he's ready to let that go. Found things like the iPad that covers broken so the iPads at the moment haven't got these two iPads they both don't have covers so that's something I need to buy so I'm just making a list as we go through that um, when we're sorting out the clothes found out that Tom needs some some shorts to wear out he also needs a couple of extra t-shirts and Lucas needs a rashie for swimming and we need two iPad covers so just as I go through I'm making notes of what the children need okay lunchtime Thomas is going to Tom is going to high school next year, so we've just been sorting out Lucas's old school uniforms for Tom, um, and then my older sons just seeing what fits, what doesn't fit, and then we'll order them some new fresh pieces for the year. But Tom's been able so excited he's been able to get a whole high school uniform out of Lucas's old things at the same size. So now I just go and soak everything and make everything fresh, and then we'll order some extra pieces online, and then Lucas's uniforms here so I'm just going to get that organized um, and then we got into the cupboard and it's just going to be too much for one day it's getting dark now so um, and I've just got I just had to do a quick trip to Costco 
because for New Year's, it's New Year's Eve, I just need to finish up for tonight. I'm exhausted. Um, so we'll finish off this tomorrow because there's still a corner with all the dress ups and that to do to go, sorry, to go and still the rest of the cupboard to go. There's shoes to sort through. But we're making great progress. The drawer down here now with the clothes looks amazing. Uh, we had a list of things that we needed for Lucas and we've just been into his big brother's bedroom and at the back of the wardrobe was a whole pile of of size small men's clothing, Adidas shorts and skins and basketball shorts and shirts and medium shirts, everything that Lucas needs. So I just feel like I've been shopping in my older son's bedroom. So I think I can cross off so much off this list now and get organized for the new year. So I'm excited, very worthwhile. Terrified of the Lego project. Oh, there's so much Lego, but anyway, we'll deal with that tomorrow. Okay, so the project bedroom continues the next day on New Year's Day, and we were so undecided about what to do about Lego because we have Lego everywhere. So, and this has been going on for years with the three boys, right? From so probably if my oldest is 18 maybe 15 years probably um, that's been passed down from boy to boy and then my friend gave me all hers as well so let me just show you what we're dealing with and we were about to give up and just go this is an impossible task and then we thought you know what we're just going to get started choose one get started and try and figure it out so let me show you what we're dealing with so we've got the last few years we've kept the boxes so we've just got boxes here and manuals then we have over here we were working on something here um, this is various different ones here uh, there's another one there that's full of dust then I must have at some stage got one of these from Aldi and thought oh that's a good thing to keep the Lego in so there's this big bag here then there's various bags full of Lego as well little bags more Lego and then Tom's just trying to get this one together at the moment. Not finished. Okay, he's finished. We're missing one piece, which is the stretcher. Yeah, one piece. Which is the stretcher for the the helicopter. Um, anyway, so we've got another bag. We've got more more in here. Um, bags and bags of it in here. And this was a bag of spares. And if that wasn't, and then we've got another. We've got this big pirate ship that was looks like that we've got that in here oh, I showed you everything so we're just trying to figure out containers I'm gonna go out and buy some containers to try and put them into a couple of containers so that we can then just try and start putting it together um, to sell it or donate it we'll just we'll just depends on what, what they are this pirate ship at the moment is selling on eBay for like $300 because it's so old um, so We'll see if we can do anything with that and then if that wasn't bad enough we found these two more containers from my older son's room full of it as well so the house is looking a disaster as we declutter the room <laughs> stuff everywhere but I know what each pile means it's just a matter of now putting it where it should be it's it's the second today 2nd of January and it's Saturday and I'm still working on my decluttering projects at the moment and I just need a storage. I'm getting held up by the Lego and I just need a storage solution for it. So I'm going to go to Ikea, just come here, it's 3 o'clock in the afternoon. I can't move on with my decluttering until I get a solution for the Lego. So I'm here to see if I can quickly find something. But it's not going to be a very big trip, but I thought I'd bring you along just in case I do something exciting. So let's, let's do this. Okay, so first container, Here. so what we'll do is, this is the one you're working on at the moment, right? Well, yeah, but there's a lot of missing pieces. Okay, let's pop all this in go. Oh yeah, into here. And then, oh, there it is! What? <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> Bye. 
Okay, so Tom's just found some pieces that he couldn't find to make up what he's making up at the moment. So now we've got three containers that have got random pieces in them. Um, and another one here. And then we have one container full of half made up things. And the plan is, with the Lego, is to... Um, and where are all the booklets, Tom? Oh, behind me. So here are all the booklets. Here's all the Lego we've got. Oops. Here's all the books we've got. So these are all the different ones that we've got. Some heaps of them. Um, this and this and this. This. So we've got so many of them. All these books. So the plan is to take one book at a time, get the containers out and make them. And then Tom can play with them or... Um, we can sell them or we can give them away. So that's the plan. It's a good plan for school holidays because that's he loves Lego and that is a lot of Lego. And now he has all the pieces that he needs all around him um, and we'll just continue to get organized. Right now I'm going to right now oops I'm going to go and tackle this corner here which is the children's dress up clothes. Wow, wow. They won't be needing those now that they're teenagers. So this is all working well but look at the hallway. And my oldest son decluttered his room as well and just threw it all out of there for me to sort. And so this is major, guys. This is major declutter. Feeling good, though. Feeling good. The Lego containers are working well. And, yeah, we're getting there. Okay, the vacuum cleaner is here. What? We're definitely making waiting. some progress. And, oh, it's hot been vacuuming cleaning so we're making some progress just got some more got some clothes to put away there a couple more things to organize but we're looking so different so good the driven here is definitely taking shape as well I don't know if we saw the before of that um, so there's clothes there for the boys school bags shoes um, and up here there's the, the Tiger's bag up there's got Nerf guns in it. That's the Lego that cur he's currently making, and that's a box. In the background, there's empty boxes for Lego that I've kept hold of that he's going to make up, and then we're going to sell or give away. But this, we just kept a few of the boxes of the really expensive ones. And behind that is Transformers, which I haven't sorted through, so that's another big job. But well, it's not too big a job. There's probably only 10 Transformers in there. But everything, all the other toys are gone, and then there's a little pile of books up there that I wanted to keep, so it's just a small pile. And then there's an empty box up there in case um, Tom grows out of his basketball shoes that was so expensive, in case he grows out of them really fast, and I can pass them on to someone. And then a couple of their favorite clothes um, from over the years. And that's it, everything else is gone. Let me show you the hall. All this has to go, all of this is going. I showed you the haul before, so I've got to sort this in a minute, but I just want to finish off the room. I'm excited and I'm puffed. But anyway, it's all good. Okay, and this is the this is the clothing drawer. So much more reduced than before. Always folded clothes. Looking great. Okay, and the final result out in the hall. All of this has to go or be put where it needs to go. So I'm about to do that now. Yay. Yay me. Okay, we're getting there. This is looking amazing. A few more things to finish there. It's just looking so gorgeous. Let me show you the final result. So we got rid of the few toys that we were like still questioning. That teddy's got all the gymnastic medals on it. Um, and then we're done. The windows need a clean. I 
and get that done and bunks the bunks are going so and I've got a couple of basketball and the Avengers poster with the tigers and a little basketball hoop and then that's just all the Lego now fully organized I feel so good and I, I think I've showed you in here they might have messed it up already oh. so, I know look at that the wardrobe uh, that we mum mum mum's left the minions up there because mum just can't let them go but I've done really well other than that and that's it the shoes and Tom the clothes and yes Tom wants to take the bunks apart now and put them down as separate beds before we get our new beds and just to try different formations of the room so I'm gonna let him do that and then and then this happened. We decided to go right on with it and we took the bunks apart and we made them into two and single beds. And they and love it. And they redecorated. So now we've got, and there's actually a lot more space than we thought there would be. So now we're just going to replace these beds with um, king singles so they'll be a little bit longer, which we've got the space for here, and a little bit wider. And we've got some space here so that should work as well hopefully it should work I have oh. to measure it mm. oh, and the Lego is now in the cupboard and that works and Ooh. that works fine and we're just waiting for Tom's high school uniforms to go up there and we do woohoo Woo and mum's minions again <laughs> now I'm gonna get some breakfast and the and one toy. Okay, so thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate that. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Yeah, bye.